What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate, and today we're gonna go over the top 10 best effects in After Effects. I am excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. The effects on this list are just gonna blow your mind. These are the dopest effects that come right out the box in After Effects. You don't have to spend any extra money to do some really cool stuff. I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so there's so many to choose from that it can be daunting, but we're gonna go over the ones that the community uses the most. First up on the list is an effect that gets used in literally every project that I've ever done with After Effects since learning about it from the VFX godfather himself, Andrew Kramer. Color correction um, curves, which is amazing effect. I love this effect. Who doesn't love this effect? Well, I knew this one guy. He didn't like curves. He liked levels. And now he works at Starbucks. So, you know, that's justice, I guess. That's right. I'm talking about this little hidden gem under the color correction tab called Curves. Curves is super useful for color correction. You can pretty much use curves to match color differences between layers and VFX shots for compositing. And you can also use curves for doing really nice finishing final touches. Super simple and super useful. Highly recommend. Curves gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so fill and gradient ramp works similar to your standard color fill and gradient fill tools in After Effects when you're creating some sort of solid or shape layer, except these work on any kind of layer, which is super useful because that means it can also be used with expressions and keyframes. I use fill and gradient ramp a lot whenever creating motion graphics, custom effects like vignettes, textures, color shifts, transitions, animations, and things like that. These effects are literally filled throughout my projects because they are really simple, really powerful, making them a handy tool right out the box in After Effects. Fill and gradient ramp get a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Now, most companies making VFX plugins tend to focus a lot on making their own glow to challenge the default glow in After Effects. <laughs> red giant but i'd argue that the default glow in after effects when used well shines brighter than its competitors okay well not that bright but it's pretty dope in order to get the glow to look really nice i like to stack multiple glow effects with varying settings for a really specific style so for the blackpink video i used a lower threshold for the ambient glow and a higher threshold and intensity for the highlights and glints which made the hand-drawn animation blend with the scene but still stand out settings for glows can range from simple to complex and i love how it runs pretty fast even when i have three or four glow settings stacked together sometimes i even use glow in a really subtle way when I'm compositing uh, computer screens or phone screens and monitors to mimic real-world lighting it's just lit one of my favorites glow gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval motion tracker and the newer added camera tracker are super dope tools that come right out the box in After Effects they're really useful for quickly tracking objects and recreating 3d camera movements for quick projects like sky replacements logo removals cell phone replacements quick tracking here and there motion tracker and camera tracker can be more useful in keeping your workflow as simple and efficient as possible for that reason it gets a black mixture stamp of approval have you ever wanted to make your blurs buttery smooth but didn't want your computer run slower than old people <laughs> Then you're in luck because After Effects comes with two really fast useful blur effects called Gaussian and Fast Blur. These simple blurs are really versatile in that you can use them for glows, drop shadows, uh, smoothing textures, nice gradients. Pretty much the possibilities are endless and they run super fast in After Effects which makes them well deserving of a black mixture stamp of approval. Simple Choker, it's an effect that comes in handy a lot when working on motion graphics elements, cleaning up keys. Now, have you ever tried removing a background from something and have been left with all those little bits of confetti like you threw a party on the footage? Well, Simple Choker might be able to help you because it will smooth out the mat and push it in or out depending on the settings that you choose. So this is really useful for things like compressed images with baked in backgrounds or even green screen shots that look a little bit rough after you've used something like key light on them. So I highly recommend Simple Choker. It gets the black mixture stamp of approval. 
Fractal Noise is one of those super versatile effects that can be used in everything from volumetric lighting effects and fog effects to displacement maps for oceans. And yeah, it just takes a little bit of understanding of other compositing techniques and VFX techniques in order to fully utilize it. But once you master those, Fractal Noise will become like your best friend. So I've made vampires burn under the sun with really nice subsurface skin lighting just using fractal noise for organic displacements. It's also been pretty useful for making neon lighting effects in lo-fi animations. Highly recommend it. you check out fractal noise. It's well deserving of a black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, CC Particle World. Who doesn't love exploding things into a million little balls? Hollywood sure does. So CC Particle World is one of those insanely powerful particle systems that comes right off the box in After Effects and works natively within it to make all kinds of cool effects. Yeah, just check out this uh, quick montage of all the cool you can do with CC Particle World. All right, yeah, and for that, it gets a black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so using Echo is the equivalent of being Albert Einstein in that you can make time your The distinction between the past, present, and future is but a stubborn illusion. On the surface, you have a pretty straightforward repeater and offsetter, which can make really dope supersonic turbo looking effects or trippy vision effects. But also when you pair it with a few other effects like simple choker and you have things going on like uh, motion graphics elements, you can actually create a procedural motion blur and a procedural motion trail for 2D element. It's super neat and fun to use and effects are all about having fun. Have fun like Caillou. So shoot. Echo gets a black mixture stamp of approval. Ooh, okay, so right now we are down to the 10th one. And before I get to this one, I want to let you guys know that this list is in no way in order of dopeness. They're just too awesome and unique to compare like that. This list is also not the entire end all say all for best After Effects plugins. They're just my opinion based on my experience from doing projects for motion graphics and visual effects and things like that. If you find any of these useful, let us know in the comments and also make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be all kinds of dope videos coming out. All right, let's get back to the list. Okay, so number 10 on the list is my all-time favorite displacement effects. It's kind of a cheap one because it's two effects in this one too. It's turbulent displace and displacement map. Now, displacement map is so versatile that it can be used to make liquid energy ripples in footage and concrete water-like puddles in lo-fi animations like this one on our channel. Check that out, link in there, shameless plug. Yeah, so I've also used these in things like music videos to make cool smoky dreamlike effects. And I just love how impressive a few tweaks with these effects and combinations with them can make jaw-dropping visuals. Highly recommend you play around with Turbulent Displace and Displacement Map. They get a well-earned black mixture stamp of approval. All right, and so that's it for the list. I wanna know what you guys think. Are these effects dope enough to be on this top 10 best list? Are there any others that I did not mention that you think everyone else should know about? Let us know in the comments. As always, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.